الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أيها الأحبة The heart is a precious piece of flesh or a precious organ that we have to take care of and we have to pay attention to. We have to listen to the signals of our heart. We have to listen to those things we are inclined to and ask whether these are whisperings of the shaitan that our heart is being inclined towards and we have to give the heart its right by feeding it with righteous provisions such as reading the Quran such as reading and contemplating the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet وسلم, understanding the explanations of the Quran reflecting on the signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sitting in good company to have a good effect upon the heart Ayu al habba the heart is a central point of focus for us as believers and this is because this is how we can begin to purify ourselves purify, purify ourselves uh, spiritually and that when we put in poison into our bodies and poison into our minds this is poisoning our heart there's the relationship there and that's why paying attention to the inclinations of your heart what you're inclined towards what you're striving for what your uh, your how your feelings are where your iman is at is imperative and by having taqwa azza wa jal doing the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala avoiding his prohibitions this is going to help exercise the heart by having taqwa you're going to be increasing your iman these actions of the limbs and actions of the heart and actions of the tongue statements of the tongue all of these are part of iman and they all will be ways to increase your taqwa and and purify your heart the prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam said inna allah la yandiru ila surakum wala ila amwalakum walakin yandiru ila qulubikum ila qulubikum wa a'malakum in one of the narrations of this hadith as uh, that's collected in Sahih Muslim as Shaykh and Shaykh Abdul Razak Ibn Abdul Masan Al-Badr Hafidhullah Ta'ala mentioned this narration where Allah, uh, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said verily Allah does not look to your appearance nor to your wealth but he looks to your deeds and your heart ayola ahbab this hadith illustrates for us that our appearance although it has importance as far as hygiene and as far as you want to look your best and dress appropriately and so forth but that is not the point that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will judge you on on your beauty on your uh, your status your wealth unless you're using those things of course for obedience to Allah but in general, those things are not what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is looking at. He's not concerned. He created us. But he's not concerned with how 
long someone's hair is as, as a, a woman or how someone else's appearance, the man's beard is necessarily super long or what have you. As long as it's in accordance with the Sunnah of the Prophet wasallam, that he didn't cut it, that he did an act of worship. So Allah is not, uh, uh, not, uh, does not give us reward based upon our appearance and based upon our, uh, our color or our nationality or our status. But rather, he looks to our deeds, our actions. Are we worshiping him subhanahu wa ta'ala? Are we doing the good deeds, doing charity, smiling at the people, greeting the people with kindness, treating the people with kindness, being obedient to our parents? Are we being kind to our peers, not bullying one another? Not bullying our peers as, as children and being cruel. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is looking to those deeds. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is looking at those deeds and your heart. He's looking at your heart. So if we pay attention to our heart by doing good deeds to strengthen our iman, to purify our hearts, then that means we're paying attention and concentrating on that which is of importance to us and that which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will hold us accountable for. Ayu al-Ahbab, in another hadith which is well known, where the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, إِنَّ فِي جِزَدْ مُضْغَةٍ مُضْغَةٌ إِذَا صَلَحَ صَلَحَ جِزَدَ كُلُّ وَإِذَا فَسَدَ فَسَدَ جِزَدَ كُلُّ أَلَا وَهِيَ قَلْبُ أَلَا وَهِيَ الْقَلْبُ The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said In the body is a morsel of flesh And if it is healthy Then the whole body is healthy if it is sick, then the whole body is sick. Verily, it's the heart. So, Ayy al-Ahbab, it shows us the relationship of our spiritual growth and our spiritual purification to that which we do in our actions, in our deeds, with our body and with our mind, in fact. Because when we put in poison into our mind, say for example, the person who listens uh, to music and the person who, especially particularly violent music or music that really has uh, an, ext an extreme uh, effect upon your actions and personality, or when the person says particular things or they listen to people with bad speech or they watch things which are impermissible to watch and look at that this dirties the heart and as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says it places ran you know they, a covering upon their heart and the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam explained that that covering of the heart that that covering is something which is destroying a person's iman. And that the more sins we do, the more bad actions and sins that we do, the more that heart becomes covered. And the more we do righteous deeds, it begins to uncloud and uncover that sickness, that disease that's covering the heart. So, Ayyul Ahbab, it's imperative that we begin to Look at ourselves, look at our hearts, analyze our own hearts, especially before we spend all of our time analyzing the actions of others. And that's something, Ayyul Ahbab, that I just want to share about myself. A lot of times when I realize, when I want to look at even the mistakes of Ahl Bid'ah, even the sins and the Bid'ah of Ahl Bid'ah, I'm reminded of my own sins. And I try to reflect upon that. So that will help you 
in being cautious about speaking about others. It will also help you in being truthful and sincere and knowing that that's an act of Ibadah. So when you do speak about other people, about their issues, which can be a harm of the community, a harm to the community and what have you, and that need to be warned against, you will do that with sincerity to Allah, that this is an act of worship. Remember that, ayah al-ahbab. And may Allah bless us to take care of our hearts and come closer to Him and forgive us of our many sins. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Muhammad.